Welcome back guys, welcome back to Carla's Kitchen. So this is the finishing touch of my tuna wraps. As you can see guys. Guys. Very colorful as usual, as you know me love my colors. And like I said, when you guys making it, make sure to tuck in you know, your sides like this. So your filling doesn't fall out. You tuck it in. Okay guys, so here's the finishing touch of my stuffed jerk planting with shrimp in coconut sauce. Lovely dish guys, look at it. So this is the finishing touch of my jerk barbecue chicken as you can see it look at that guys looking so delicious it smells good it is yummy and i have my boiled corn over here look at that the people on a look wow nice and over here i have some cucumber nicely sliced and some tomatoes Wow, this is so pretty. Guys, when I need to come over here, so I over here so everything are up. Yeah, Carla's kitchen. Guys, I'm back, and this is the finishing touch of my lovely fried barbecued chicken breast. And my lovely sauce that I made for the chicken breast, the barbecue chicken breast. So there you go, guys. So guys, look what I have. My lovely sweet potato chicken pot. Look at these guys. So crispy, so yummy. It smells good and it is very tasty. Look at that. So this is my coconut curried corn. So now I'm going to plate it for you guys so you could get a better view of what it looks like. Okay? Yes, guys. So this is the finishing touch of my lovely curried coconut corn. Look at it, guys. It smells so good. It is very delicious. Look at it. How pretty that is. Okay, guys. So this is the finishing touch off my sweet honey cranberry jelly sauce and my jerked fried chicken and my pumpkin potato salad all i hit is right here look at this guys so yummy so delicious look at that so pretty so this is the finishing touch of my shrimp rasta pasta and I have some sweet plantains on the side along with a little veggie. And guys, when you're making your shrimp rasta pasta, please um, leave back like five of your shrimp with the tail on for, you know, your garnishing. Look at this, this is so lovely. Guys, it smells so good. It is yummy, cheesy, oh my goodness. Guys, this is the finishing touch of my brown stewed chicken and rice and peas. And this is brown stewed chicken without browning. Guys, it looks good. It smells good. It is yummy. It is tasty. This dish is very delicious. Wow. Look at this, guys. Wow. So this is the finishing touch of my brown stewed fish with bamboo. And I have a little veggie on the side and I have a glass of fruit juice that you could have with it. And this dish, guys, you could also have this dish with 
food like dumplings, bananas, plantains, or you could even have this dish with festivals. Okay, look at it, guys. It smells good, it looks good, and it tastes good. So this is the finishing touch of my vegetable egg pie. And I also have some barbecue sausage with it. So you can have this for breakfast and you could even have this dish for lunch. And I, and I have some sauce here also, some barbecue sauce. And I have some maple syrup. And you could, you could use honey for your pie if you don't, you don't have maple syrup. Guys, so this is the finishing touch of my sweet plantain omelet. So look at it. Okay, guys. So this is finished now. Yeah. Smell good. Oh my god, guys, we can't wait to eat some. This is the finishing touch of my coconut rice and my pineapple sweet and sour shrimp. Look at it. It smells good. It tastes good. I'm wishing it over here so it tastes this. Lovely, lovely dish. Get a better view, okay? Okay, guys. So this is the finishing touch of my escovish fish with fried bami, fried sweet plantain, and chunky potato salad. And I use the red skin potatoes. So there you have it. There you have it, guys. And you all are welcome to come over. So we can mash up them fish here. Look at it. So pretty. See it there? This is the finishing touch of my oxtail and bean with gungo rice and peas. So take a look. And with this dish, you can have pineapple juice, you can have fruit punch, or even crystal punch that work well with it too. Look at it. So pretty, smells good, and I know it's delicious. I'm going to in the near Carla's kitchen, trust me. See so it sit here? May I last, last get stammer. Anyway, this is the finishing touch of my plantain cups. Stuffed plantain cups. So I use salt fish. <laughs> salt fish. <laughs> Girls, guys, I don't know what happened to me today. Oh, la Jesus. I am a hot mess today. But anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. See it there. And now I'm going to show you no how I put the salt fish in these little cups. So come over here so let me show you now. It's very simple. See there? Eh? See? I'm going to have a nice stuffed cup. So guys, take a good look. Ain't those look yummy? Only I want one. Alright, I'm going to have all of them. Okay guys. So look at my coconut curried fried rice with shrimp. So guys, I am going to plate it for you so you can get a better view of this coconut curried fried rice with shrimp. Okay guys, so this is the finishing touch of my coconut curried fried rice with shrimp. Look at that guys, look how beautiful this is looking. Guys, it smells good, it tastes good. Oh my God, I wish you guys could taste it right now. This is curried coconut fried rice with shrimp, yummy. So guys, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. 
and for the ingredients for my dish that I'm gonna put it in the description so you can check the description for the ingredients also thank you guys for tuning in today with me God bless you all I love you all so much and for those new people I welcome you as well thank you so much guys and I'm gonna see you all very soon in my next video Bye, guys.